Uh, hey, everybody, how are you all doing? Uh, my name is Al. I am Al Naga. I'm standing in for uh, Colonel Vertuli. He is our uh, new J39 uh, AFRICOM Information Operations uh, Director. He is predisposed at the moment, so he won't be able to uh, join us. And he asked me to uh, stand in for him with a couple of the slides that I hope everybody could see. Uh, by exception, if you cannot see it, please let me know. But hopefully it's, it's on, your, uh, on your screen somehow. Uh, I assume everybody's good. So yeah, my, my name is uh, Albert Naga. I, uh, I'm a, uh, an IO planner information operations planner here at AFRICOM. I've been here for about three years now. Um, I'm also the building partner capacity uh, lead for, for, for uh, the section that we handle at the IO shop here at AFRICOM. Uh, the, the building partner capacity or BPC portfolio that I have uh, essentially uh, allows me to offer uh, our African partners uh, capability or, or to enhance the existing capability on messaging and counter messaging. And uh, we've, been, uh, we've been doing this for the last two years and it's essentially us uh, reaching out to African partners, asking them, how can we help you with your strategic messaging capability or if you want to establish a strategic messaging capability. Uh, that involves providing training and to some extent uh, uh, some equipment, not, not, you know, not high valued equipment, but, but enough. So we, we can discuss that later on. Uh, feel free to reach out to us through, uh, through Anne if you're interested in that, in that aspect. Uh, and then the, the, the other half of my portfolio, which is information operations, uh, that's essentially what we have found out in our, a lot of our allied uh, partners, and not, not just necessarily African partners. Uh, the concept of I.O. is pretty uh, limited to when, 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 when we're looking at it the first three years, uh, kind of it's getting lost in translation in a lot of countries and allies. So essentially for Africa, for example, it's the equivalent of your somehow close to it, public information operation, uh, public information officers. So those are my two portfolios, IO planner and BPC uh, uh, expert. Now for the, uh, the slides, if you can go, if you can, uh, if you can look at it, the first, one of the, uh, very first things that I would like to discuss is the difference between misinformation and disinformation. This is very, very relevant right now, not just in politics, obviously worldwide, but with COVID. You know, we're seeing a lot of, of misinformation and disinformation on, uh, on it, and it's really, really uh, adversely affecting uh, governments around the world on how they tackle, handle, or control the pandemic. So what is the difference between misinformation and disinformation? I'll start with misinformation. This is the textbook definition that we have at the information operations uh, uh, in the United States uh, government, essentially. And misinformation is the incorrect or misleading information inadvertently, otherwise, or, or known as unintentionally, sent in order to influence public opinion or obscure the truth. So essentially, you're, the people who are propagating them most of the time, uh, they, they believe it's true. So they just share it with friends uh, with the intent of swaying their opinion, whether it's uh, you know, for a, a personal relationship or, or, or a, a professional or even political reasons. Now, this information, this one is more insidious because false information deliberately and often covertly, meaning uh, almost like there's a nefarious reason behind it. It's uh, uh, information is spread in order to influence public opinion or obscure the truth. A lot of the times, these are what state actors are capable of doing and have been practicing against each other for the longest time. And it, both of them, if you look at the takeaway, the, the lesson that we've learned from, from uh, the bottom, both of these acts, this information and misinformation, they contribute to fake news, which is a buzzword right now, or buzz terms that we, we hear all over the world. Both of them pose a risk to the messenger and the target audience. What does it mean when it says it poses a risk even to the messenger? Well, it really ruins the credibility of the messenger or whatever the messaging apparatus is. 
and obviously for the target audience, uh, uh, that's, that's the general public most of the time, uh, or decision makers, and uh, it gives them false data, so they, they do uh, the exact opposite of what's needed to be done to solve a, a, a problem or to alleviate a situation. But don't be, uh, both of them, misinformation, disinformation, both of them are pretty bad. So, and it says there also, the major difference between the two lies in the intent. One is unintentional, one is intentional. Both very bad. Okay, so now here in Africa, what do we do to address this? Uh, the first thing we have uh, under uh, our shop, the J39IO, it's called the uh, web ops, or web operation. It's an interactive social media program with two major objectives. It's to counter violent extremists or terrorists, online recruiting and disinformation efforts, uh, countering the propaganda, essentially. It also enhances our part nation's indigenous, meaning your pre-existing capability to counter messaging and to message uh, uh, appropriately. The other, the other things that, that, that we do, and I have seen this all over Africa, samples of this, and uh, by the way, there's a link at the bottom so you could actually check this out, the, the digital format of this. But if you want the hard copy of this, we can have them mailed to you, uh, you wherever. And we, we do this for all the, country, the countries in Africa. So the Africa Defense Forum is a print and digital forum for African security professionals. It's uh, printed quarterly in magazine uh, format, and it's available in three major languages, French, Arabic, and English. And again, it's available for free for security professionals in 54 countries. The, the, the definition of security for us is very loose. So if you say you work at an embassy, you know, or uh, you work at the uh, diplomatic uh, offices or you're part of, uh, uh, doesn't have to be in security or military, uh, we can send them to you. We have the capability to do that. And just, you know, just, just let, let us know what language you prefer. Uh, and like I said, it has three configurations on digital media, social media platform. We're act or four. We're active on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And the links are at the bottom. So that's it for me now.